Hi friends, I am doing a challenge for Kathy's favorite things and it is her giving back challenge. I have decided to participate in Kathy's giving back challenge and so I've got some goodies ready to make her an ATC. I was gonna make a Memdex card because I haven't made one, but I'm chickening out temporarily. Don't worry, I will make one. But I'm gonna go ahead and do two ATCs for her challenge. As you can see, I am going to be using some vintage playing cards and I've cut out my little flamingo die cuts and I have my information that I printed out really small, but it'll fit on the card. I'll have to trim this edge a little bit, but actually what I was thinking, because I don't want to cover the whole image here, I'm thinking I might go with fussy cut scissors and just kind of trim inside and that way some of this image will will show up so and then I'll figure out where I want to put it on the card but I definitely want to, I don't want to cover the entire image oh that looks kind of nice right there so anyway that's my thought about that and then when I flip it over I'll decorate with the bird and other stuff too obviously I have some paper here this is wrapping paper and I got this from my friend Carol at Carol's recrafted boutique so I think I might try to work this on to the other side of the card along with this flamingo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out just by fussy cutting my information that I am going to attach to the back of the card and I am using Aileen's Tacky Glue to do that. There was a tiny, tiny bit hanging over the outer edge. So as you could see, I just trimmed that up with my scissors real quick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this wrapping paper that I got from my friend Carol, and I'm going to just tear it into shape. I like the way that tearing kind of has rough edges. So I'm tearing that, and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the other side of the playing card. Now I'm going to piece together my flamingo die cuts onto the card. The die comes with a lot of pieces, like the eyes and then even like another layer that covers the feet and the beak and all of that. But I usually only use the beak and I draw in the eyes only because the pieces are so tiny, they're kind of hard for me to work with. I've decided to add a little extra flair to this, so I am going to adhere some feathers under the wing on this one, and I'm using Fabri-Tac to do that. Now I'm just drawing in the eye, I'm highlighting the beak a little bit. I will end up highlighting some of the feet and then also the wings. I will have a close-up picture for you at the end. I'm going to begin working on my second one now, and I have decided to put this on, you know, my this is my information, and I've decided to put this on this way, and I will cut this out, but I'm gonna use my decorative scissors, and we'll see how that looks. That's kinda cool, it's kinda abstract, so I like that. There, that's pretty neat. I got my information adhered to the other side of the card and now it's time to decorate. So I'm going to do this one a little bit different and I'm going to use more of the feathers. But this time I've decided to use some of the green and some of the pink. So I'm just putting them on the card. Um, I didn't really have a plan, I'm just kind of going, I like to work intuitively so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just kind of going with the flow and I'm trying to attach them in a way that looks that looks good to me and in a way that I feel like once I put the die cut on that it will that it will look good. I'm going to go ahead and put the flamingo on and then I will give you a close up of both of the cards front and back. All right, friends, here are the backs of both of my ATCs, and now we're going to do the big reveal, even though I already showed you the first one. <laughs> so here is the first one, and you remember I used the paper underneath, and then I put a little feather under this wing here. I added some eyelashes to this one, so that makes her look pretty cute. 
pretty simple card but colorful and fun and then for this one we added the information sideways and actually it looks so perfect for where this flower is on the card I used my fussy cut scissors right here around the edge but when we flip it over here is what we've got I put a bunch of feathers down and then I just did some highlighting I should say low lighting really because these are you know I used a darker pink to color in the beak and the eye and the wing and actually I think I'll go ahead and add some eyelashes to her too I'm gonna use light pink there here they are side by side I will be sending both of these to Kathy at Kathy's favorite things for her giving back challenge Thanks for watching. See you soon.